Hello, I'm Steve Worley, owner of Worley Bugger Fly Company, and today I'm going to show you how to tie my Berserker Sculpin on the new ProTube fly system. It's an innovative tube fly system uh, that's come out of uh, the Netherlands. Um, fantastic, very versatile. Uh, in your approach uh, to fly tying, lots of fun and very, very productive way um, to catch fish. This is a relatively pretty easy fly to tie, but before we get started, I'm going to kind of give you a little introduction into the versatility of the Pro Tube system. So, this is actually tied on the micro tube, okay which is this little guy. But to see the versatility of this and this system and the relative ease of use, pretty inexpensive way to, uh, to approach your fly tying when you're tying flies for trout, steelhead, bass, uh, northern pike, uh, whatever species you happen to be fishing for. So this is called the micro tube. But how I tie the berserker is I actually flip this around and tie it backwards. So you can see this little nipple right here uh, at the end. This is actually the back of the tube of how it's designed. And you take their the Pro Tubes uh, flexi tube. And this actually attaches right to the back. This is your hook keeper guide. So your hook actually fits right up in here. So basically how this fly is tied is I like to do it a little bit differently. So what we do is we have our flexi needle as you can see here real nice smart you know way of designing uh, you know for these for this tube fly system so you take your micro tube and I add a little bit of weight to this fly because um, we want to fish it in the in the deeper portions of the water column and I'll add a flexi weight before putting it on I also like to add the hook keeper so it gives us a kind of a finishing point for our fly just so we don't overcrowd it so you can slide that on get it set and then slide the entire tube onto the flexi needle until it won't go any further okay then you take your black cone slide it right onto the nipple there and you can do either one or two things you can super glue it in place or you can take just a little bit of thread and lay a thread base down right in front just to secure it so it won't go anywhere and then to finish off your fly you can super glue that so I just lay a thread base down in the, the eye of the hook there this just happens to be some GSP thread in yellow. You can also use olive if you like. So make a few thread wraps there. Secure your cone in place. You can see it's not going anywhere. Then start your thread base right behind the cone. Work it back. Get your weight you know centered where you uh, where you want it on the on the tube and then just make several wraps over the top of the flexi weight 
securing that in place to the tube. One thing you'll find with with the pro tube system that you might have had problems with in the in the past with other tubes is you know actually tying the the tube right to the needle. You you won't ever have that problem with the pro tube system. So once you've uh, worked your your thread back to the the back of the hook keeper guide, then you can start building your fly. Your first ingredient is some barred olive marabou. And just lay this in place, measuring it. Make a couple thread wraps. GSP is super, super strong. Real thin diameter. So it doesn't take much thread to to lay these uh, materials in place. Trim off your excess. And just work, uh, work your marabou right around the the back of the fly. Once again, trim off the excess. And then just make a few more thread wraps binding the rest of that marabou. Okay. For the body of this fly, I like to uh, use what they call polar chenille, UV polar chenille, and I like to combine two colors. So I'll take a strip of black and a strip of olive UV. The UV refraction has, has great properties, uh, great fish catching properties, so it's a it's a fantastic material to use. Real boggy, real simple. Fills the body out real nicely. It also gives it that segmented kind of sculpting look uh, to the berserker. So you just take and lay your polar chenille on the top and once again just bind it down with a few thread wraps. Pull it down tight. It's almost near impossible to break this thread. I mean, you can see how hard you can pull on it. Okay. And then just work your thread forward. And then you can start laying this body material, polar chenille, down on the tube. So your main thing when you're wrapping this forward so you don't wrap all the all the fibers is to pull them out. You can kind of tease this a little bit too. And so as you're wrapping your polar chenille forward, pull it all back so it doesn't wrap underneath the the fly. And just work it forward over the top of the tube. Tease it out. You get right behind the cone, pull it nice and tight so your body stays stays firm on your on your pro tube. One more wrap, and then you can tie it off. Secure it with a few thread wraps just behind the cone. And then cut off your excess. Set it aside. So next, we'll add a 
piece of rab strip in olive. And I like to use the micro rabbit strip. Rabbit strips are great, especially for streamers. Um, but uh, the bigger sizes of rabbit strip tend to hold a lot of water. And the fly can get awful heavy to throw uh, during the course of the day. So it's, you know, using the, the small micro is nice. You still get all the great properties of rabbit strips, the breathability, uh, the movement. But you don't get all that excessive weight, and the water doesn't hold as uh, as tightly within the in the micro rabbit as it does with the standard. So just lay that right on top of the of the tube, and I like to uh, just pull just pull a small bit of hair from the from the hide, so you have something to to uh, bind your thread down nice and tight. The main the main element in building you know good flies that stay together is you know using good materials and you know good craftsmanship you know think your fly out so just lay that on the top make a small loop get your rabbit strip in place make a couple of thread binds make sure that it's where you want it and Pull tight, making a few thread wraps, binding that to the, binding that micro rabbit strip to the uh, to the tube. And then you can you can measure it out. You don't want it fouling in your hook, so you want to make sure that your length of your rabbit strip is correct. Trim it a little bit if you need to. Okay, once that's in place, then there's a fantastic product that's put out by Whiting. It's called Bird Fur, and it comes in a variety of different colors. Um, and you can kind of see the, the texture of it, long, kind of stringy feathers. It creates some great movement, and it's kind of a... Um, it's a material that you can kind of substitute if you, you know, in the past in your steelhead flies you've used uh, uh, heron feathers. So it uh, has a lot of properties like that, but it is actually a chicken. Uh, so I just lay one of those right on top. Make one thread wrap. And thankfully the uh, the gals aren't putting these in their hair, so you should be able to find them uh, pretty readily. I like to take another one, kind of measure it out. You want it the length of your of your berserker there. Lay it in right on the side. Make one thread wrap. Cut off the excess. This will add a little bit more breathability and a little bit more movement to the fly too as you're fishing it. And then one on the other side that fills out the proportions correctly. Make a thread wrap, trim it, and then you can make a few more thread wraps, binding it nice and tight. Once again, your fly all comes together. So your next item is I like to add a couple of small Grizzly saddle hackles to the sides to add a little bit of color. Sculpins tend to be a variety of different colors. You'll you'll find them anywhere on the spectrum, from you know olive and black to uh, you know to a hint of yellow uh, inside them. So um, kind of measure that out, lay it in on the side and make a couple thread wraps. You can do it kind of light too and pull that pull that feather down where you want it getting it in place. Take your other feather lay it in on the other side 
Make sure they're even, the tips. Make a thread wrap, pull it down where you want it, and then once again, bind it. And then trim off the excess. Get right in there with your scissors, trim all that out. Couple more thread wraps. Bind those hackles in there. So to finish off the fly, there's a couple of different products that I like to use. One is uh, the laser dubbing from Hairline and then also their ice wing fiber. Uh, either one of those is fine to use. So what you want to, what you're going to want to do here is is fill in this space in between the back of the cone and the start of your body there. Pull your thread down. Lay your dubbing on. This is a nice dubbing it has some some UV refraction integrated into it. It's real easy to dub. You can see how how easy it goes on. And here I can use my Petty G and Bob and form a dubbing loop. Spin it. And then wind the dubbing. At the base. You want to fill that in nicely. The heads of sculpins tend to be uh, more prolonged, a little bit bigger in the front than what the rest of their body is. Build that dubbing up. Maybe just a little bit more on there. Kind of the nice thing about dubbing is you can you can use it in sparing amounts or however you want to. So once we get that on there, then we just kind of pull it back and make a couple thread wraps in behind the the cone. That'll make sure it binds all the all the fibers down that you've built a good reliable fly so to finish off the fly I usually like to just take you can take your scissors or your bodkin and just pick this dubbing a little bit It out. Then you can just take and make your half hitch. Bind everything down nice and tight. Finish off your fly. And cut off here. And there you go. Berserker sculpin tied on the pro tube. Really, really very, very simple fly to tie. Very efficient. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot of time and fish is great. When I come back, I'm going to show you how to rig this. So, one of the biggest problems that we see in the pro shop with the fishermen is their unwillingness to try uh, tube flies if they they've never given a chance before or ever fished with them. Uh, they're lots of fun and they're really really effective and they're super easy to rig, uh, especially these ones. And I'm going to show you a couple of the benefits 
um, a fishing with tube flies uh, when you do happen to be fishing uh, streamer type patterns. So once your uh, once your fly is all complete, you can just simply just remove it right from the right from the flexi needle. Okay. So here's your tube fly with your flexi needle pulled off your flexi needle with your hook keeper guide already in place. So really simple, simple rigging. Take your monofilament and run it down the front of your tube. So it comes out the back. Okay. As far as hooks go, you want a good, sharp, straight shank hook. This happens to be a Gamagatsu drop shop hook, which is fantastic, super sharp, super durable. So what you want to do is take and tie your hook in place on your monofilament. making a good strong secure connection okay tie it cut off your tag end and then really simply Here's your hook. Pull on your monofilament. Your hook slides easily up into the hook keeper. You're now ready to fish with the berserker sculpin. So if you have any questions about this video, how to tie this fly, or any of the pro tube accessories, you can call the pro shop or stop by the shop in Ellensburg, and we'll be happy to help you with anything that you need. Until then, I uh, look forward to seeing you on the river.